Okay, I'm going to show you how to convert from complex to polar and then also from polar to complex. So I'm going to give you an example in complex 5 plus 2i. So this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Okay, so when we graph this, it would go 5 right, 2 up. Okay, so the first thing is that I'm going to get this r value. So r is the square root of 25 plus 4 to the square root of 29. I can just leave it like that because that does not come out evenly. Okay, and then I would also like to calculate that angle. So I will go tan inverse 2 over 5. So that angle comes out be 21.8 degrees. So how are you going to express this? Is you're going to go, um, actually I'll write this out as a general form first, r cos of angle plus i sine of angle. So that's the polar way to write. So root 29 cos a 21.8 plus i sine 21.8. Okay, I'll do one more of those. Negative 5 plus 12i. Okay, so if you think about where that's located, it's in quadrant two because the negative five the real part and that is the imaginary part okay so again calculate r that ends up being 13 and then we're going to tan inverse and avoid the negative there 12 over 5 so when we get that we get 67.4 degrees but that's not the angle as you can tell where it's located so my angle needs to be 67.4 less than 180 so that's 112.6 degrees okay so final answer will look like this 13 cos 112.6 plus I sine 112.6. Okay, how are you gonna go from polar to complex? So I may as well just work with the example we just did. Okay, so now we're in polar, how do you go to complex? Well, this is pretty straightforward in that you just expand it like that. Distribute. So in your calculator, check that I'm in the right mode. All right. You see there? Okay, so we have 13 times cos of 112.6, and we get a negative 5. And then 13 times sine of 112.6 equals 12. And there we go. We go back to our first form.